Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. We are in Ocean City for Jeep Week. We made it down last night. It was a long ride. The window, or my windshield does not leak anymore, but from somewhere in the roof rack it leaks water and it poured rain for about an hour. From right here, <laughs> all the way onto me. This is about 10 minutes of rain water just dripping out of here. The seat is soaked. She was soaked. It was a very long ride for one of us. And then after the storms cleared, it ended up getting really hot and humid again. So yesterday before I left, I replaced the cluster. So the Jeep now reads 34 less thousand miles. I have an RPM gauge. I don't know my temp, but I do know my battery level. And also we replaced the AC condenser and two of the lines just to find out that the AC compressor is shot. But right now we are headed over to the convention center for our packet pickup. And around 1, 1 1.30 today, we have our Jeep jam off road, but it's supposed to rain. So I don't know if they run it while it rains, but it'll be a bummer if it does rain because I want the Jeep to stay muddy, even though I'm going to wash it off before the beach crawl tomorrow morning. But let's head over to the convention center. All right, so we're out here at the convention center and we're walking around the show and shine that hasn't started yet, but this XJ is so, so clean. I mean, you can't see in the windows, but the interior is clean. And those seats, those don't look like stock seats. Those seats look like they hold you very well. But this thing is awesome. And then this one has a RC car to replicate it. Pretty cool. This, this has got to be the best Jeep I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> We have made it to the Jeep Jam. We are airing down. It's the last tire. Um, I am gonna run them right around like 17 to 18 pounds. What? Can I have that thing? Check it. Look at that. 30. 30? Got a long way to go. All right, we are aired down to between 15 and 18. I don't know how the Jeep Jam's working this year, but we're currently waiting in a line and I seen Jeep going back that way. And there's a sign that says Jeep Jam entrance. So safe to assume that's where we're off-roading at. I don't know what the course looks like. I don't know if there's a trail through the woods or what, but I do know that that purple Grand Cherokee over there, right there, rolled yesterday on the off-road obstacle course so i don't think it's that bad that somebody should be rolling i don't i mean i haven't been out there but from the pictures so i'm assuming somebody pointed him in the wrong direction or he sent it a little too hard
one. Got right in front of us. No, uh. So this dude in this JL just clipped this back tire or this tire right here and punctured his rear left tire. On what? This tire.
feel my clutch leg. <laughs> oh yeah, that clutch leg going rock roll. <laughs> So going in to this clip, I have a different spotter that's go around on these big rocks. And I just want to point out that my first time around, it took three minutes to get through these big rocks. The second time around, I have a different spotter. And it took me about 20 minutes. I had to use reverse so many times, and I had to be pulled off in two different occasions. Now, I'm not blaming the spotter. I repeat myself at the end of the video, I'm not going to blame the spotter completely, but I'm just saying before I even got all four wheels onto the trail or onto the rocks, he was already having me back up and come at a different angle, which the guy prior to him did not have me do. So the next five to ten minutes or so are going to be very brutal to watch if you stick through it.
and there's one back there.
All right, guys we've been here for about two hours and it's starting to rain i did the hardest part twice which was the inside view of the big rocks and then the outside view it started to rain a little bit so the first time when i did it when we when the camera was inside i got over it fine didn't need reverse or anything or pull off the second time it was a little wet whatever but i had a different spotter and this dude i'm not gonna say he sucked but he was just not the best spotter i almost debeated one of these this wheel my girlfriend said i almost debeated one of those wheels and now i got this new tent which i mean whatever i'm not worried about dents i don't really care but it's just the fact that the dude sucked or not he didn't suck i didn't say that the dude didn't suck he was just he wasn't the greatest he needs some practice on spotting um i got i had to get pulled off twice or pulled back once and then pulled forward once and I'm not pleased with how that run went. It was kind of embarrassing and kind of sucked, but she said everybody was saying that I need a different spotter. This guy's garbage, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not saying anything negative. I'm just saying if I was with my group of friends and I had them spotting me, I would have been fine. That's all I'm saying. But as you can hear and see, it's starting to rain now. So we're gonna head home. Um, I'll, I'm not gonna wait to air up here. They have one air compressor, whatever. I'll just drive on the road with 15 to 18 pounds of air in my tires. I don't really care. But tomorrow we have the beach crawl and the beach off-road course, which I'm not even gonna bother airing up actually because I gotta do that tomorrow. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna go home, edit this, upload it, get it out to you guys today, Friday. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait to watch the clip back from the outside at least so I can see what the dude could have told me differently. But if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. If you enjoyed this Jeep Week off-road video, give a thumbs up. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video for the beach crawl. Peace out.